Your first alert forecast with forecaster Jennifer Perez. Only on Fox 47 News at 10. Well, I tell you what, after tonight's clouds, I'm just thankful I got all my gardening work done in the sunshine this afternoon while we still have it. Yes, right in the nick of time because we will be getting showers. That's going to be our story for half of our upcoming weekend and Memorial holiday. So uh -oh. I'll get to that in just a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're dealing with right now. We saw the cloud cover roll in early in the afternoon hours. We did get a little bit of sunshine early in the day and that was well received. Uh, but we're still fairly cloudy out there and some spots are actually seeing some light rain showers. That's all because of a system that's further south of us. It'll stay south of us, but we could still see some light showers into our evening hours as it progresses east. Today we had high temperatures. Well, a lot warmer than what they were yesterday in the upper 50s and some spots into and around 60. 59 here in Lansing, 60 in Ionia. Across the region, temperatures haven't dropped that much yet. Still in the low 50s, 50s out west over Eau Claire at 52 and 50 in Marquette. Still fairly, fairly warm out there. Here is our setup. There's that low pressure system that's just further south of us. It's keeping our cloud cover for us and some light rain showers. It will basically stay south of us and move east and then we're going to have high pressure work its way in for us tomorrow and it'll be a nice day. Let's go hour by hour. We'll stay cloudy into the overnight hours and tomorrow morning we'll wake up to some cloudy conditions, but it'll quickly clear out for what will be a mostly sunny day. It'll be warmer as well as temperatures will be right around the mid 60s and then on uh, then tomorrow evening we're going to get a cold front from a system that's further north of us. That'll dip down for us into the afternoon hours. That'll bring in a little bit more of cloud cover and some light rainfall fall as well into the evening hours. Nothing major though. Clear conditions though follow into the overnight hours into Friday. Friday morning will be mostly sunny and we'll stay mostly sunny for the entire day. It will be even warmer. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s. So really nice conditions for us on Friday. And for our, and into part of our weekend as well as we'll continue to warm up for tomorrow morning. We'll be right around the low 40s and we'll warm up to the mid 60s on Friday morning. We'll be right around the low 40s again and then we'll warm up a little bit more on Friday to the upper 60s. So we'll continue the gradual process of warming up to above our seasonal averages, which will be for our weekend when we're going to get to 70 and by Monday we're all the red already in the low 60s. 70s. That though will be a little bit of a wet day for us. For tonight, we'll be right around 40. Mostly cloudy. Winds will be light and variable from the west, northwest. And this is our 1 800 Hansen's kid, four year old Lee Ann. And tomorrow we'll see a high right around 67. It will be cloudy in the morning, but then we'll be mostly sunny. The clouds clear out. It will be a nice day to be out and about tomorrow doing any errands that you might have. For our seven day, Saturday looks really nice and Sunday as well will be warmer, but we get a system Sunday into Monday. Yeah, sure looks that way. All right, Jennifer, thank you.